Hello there. I was visiting my parents the other day in sunny Portobello and I was needing a bit of a charge. So I thought I'd take a little run from Portobello down to Long Nidre along East Lothian's coastline just to get the car right down as far as I could and then double back to Wallyford to try the ultra rapid chargers there. So I took it as far as I dared, seven miles of range left and 2% charge. This is the furthest I've ever gone on 100% charge. I managed 285.5 miles. So that gives 290 miles real world range. Although conditions have been pretty good for it. Temperature's been a bit up. And on the map there you can see that's how far I had left on my range. So first up, tried my RFID card, which is normally 100% fine. But for some reason today, despite trying all the little magic moves and sliding it back and forward and hold it still etc just couldn't get the start off the card but found the charger on the app no problem and after about 30 seconds the signal went from my phone to whatever it goes magic happened and it told me to plug the car in and it started so that's just starting to ramp up now battery's on two percent had a little look around in the park and ride down there. There's a good mix of chargers, 7 kilowatts, 22s, and then the two CCS and Chidemos, which have an overstay fee if you're more than 45 minutes. These are 30 pence per kilowatt hour, which makes them cheaper than the 50 kilowatt units in Edinburgh, and they also have a 15 minutes extra time on them. The Edinburgh ones, 50 kilowatts, and overstay after 30 minutes of charging. We've been charging for about two minutes and we're getting 420 miles per hour added with the charge and it's hovering around 86, 87 kilowatts. A little while later, we're up to 90 and you can see on the map the range, the blue line is extending, showing you how far you can go. It's quite fun to watch how quickly it's moving. Another little while, 58%, we've dropped back down a little bit to 81, 82 kilowatts. You can hear the background noise there, that's the fan running for the battery cooling, but there's no fan on in the interior. And you can see the range is extended past Aberdeen now. 70%, we've dropped to 63 kilowatts, still 300 miles per hour getting added, and the range is past Aberdeen. It's interesting to notice that the app was also giving pretty accurate readings. The car was saying 63 kilowatts, app 64 at this point, which is pretty close. This is at 80% now, so I'm just going to disconnect. I've got shown 257 miles of range on 80%, which will never happen. Total cost £19.73 for that charge, and 45 minutes to get from 2% to 80%. I was a bit disappointed with the peak charging only hitting 91 kilowatts because on that map it shows up as a 150 kilowatt charger and on a bit of route planner it also shows up as a 150 kilowatt charger. Strangely, it's not 150 kilowatts shown on the Charge Play Scotland app, it shows up as 104 kilowatts. I've since found out from East Lothian Council that actually you don't get 150 kilowatts unless your car runs at a specific voltage. So you get 100 kilowatts if you're a 400 volt system, 150 kilowatts for 920 volt systems. I'd missed that label on the machine, but apparently it's there. Going back to the car, I had a perfect run on Friday, just cruise along the coast, 5.6 miles per kilowatt hour for that journey. But that was mostly downhill, then flat roads along the coast, and the speed limit there is 20, 30, 40. Doesn't go particularly fast. It does show you what you can achieve in absolutely perfect conditions. I wonder if that's what the WLTP test is based on. Hmm. Right, well, that's all I've got for you for this video. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Catch you next time.